friends uh, today i have brought a video on mongodb cluster types it is specifically linked to mongodb atlas which is a cloud database version of mongodb so here i am going to show you what is flex cluster type of mongodb and please note that mongodb serverless instance type has been depreciated uh, right and uh, in this i'm going to show you mongodb flex clusters demo for that i have logged into my mongodb cloud account i'm going to create a new project so i will name it as flex cluster demo tag i will mention purpose demo and maybe i will mention environment also as dev application demo and i will click next so these tags are optional so not required why i am creating a new project because i want to show you end to end thing project owner uh, i am assigning a project owner you can invite a new user also create project now the project has been created let us create a cluster now so if you see now the i can have three options one is m10 which is nothing but dedicated cluster for development environment and low traffic applications flex is for application development and testing with on demand burst capacity which is the cost of this cluster is capped up to $30 per month $30 USD and there is a free version also which is just for learning and exploring MongoDB I have already shared a video on YouTube for how to create a free cluster in this specific video I am going to talk about flex so storage is 5 GB RAM is shared vcpu is shared that's why it is flexible if you want to go to dedicated so these are the options right so let us see what are the options and how the pricing is calculated that also i will let you know click on this see pricing it will take you to atlas flex costs so this is the cost summary which it gives to you that if you are using number of operations per second bit 0 to 100 then cost is monthly cost is $8 discount there is no discount and total monthly cost is this and you can see that gradually based upon the ops per second it is increasing and if this is the maximum limit of ops per second cost is this discount is applied and then total monthly cost is this and they have shown the example scenario also this link i will share in the description section of this video also so let us move forward automatic security setup add your current ip address to enable local connectivity if i don't so maybe i will not be able to connect but let us keep it for now preload sample data set as you may know that atlas provides sample data do, do i want to load some sample data for now let me load this also and i will name it as flex cluster flex cluster provider aws google cloud or wherever aws recommended option here is uh, the region names because i am in india so that's why it has automatically taken the mumbai one or if i want to host it somewhere uh, across the globe right then i can choose some other location but for now i will use it tag optional maybe environment i will say dev daily snapshots includes a daily snapshot that is restricted for eight days so automatically my snapshots of the database will be taken up and those will be retained for 
एट डेज लास्ट एट डेज ऑन डिमांड बस्ट कैपेसिटी फ्लेक्स टीयर क्लस्टर कैन बस्ट एंड सस्टेन अप टू फाइव हंड्रेड ऑप्स पर सेकेंड एज आई शोड यू हेयर राइट दिस फाइव हंड्रेड ऑप्स पर सेकेंड इज इंक्लूड इन द बेस्ट प्राइस सो लेट एस डू दिस एंड रन दिस और अनदर ऑप्शन इज गो टू एडवांस कॉन्फिग्रेशन फ्लैक्स बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्लैक्स ओनली हेयर for developing and testing purposes and you can use wherever the application is growing and you are not sure about your cost and other things minimal configuration is required so you can use this option also so let us go with all these option cluster capacity this is the capacity pricing details this is the pricing details right so i will delete this cluster after showing you the demo additional turn on backup it's already turned on so see backup is included for free for flex clusters so this is an added advantage and includes a daily snapshot also right which is free the first snapshot will be taken 24 hours after its cluster creation termination protection do i want to enable termination protection or not what is it when enable prevent any users from accidentally deleting this cluster termination protection will need to be disabled before this cluster so let us enable it and cluster 0 uh, now i will again name it flex cluster demo right tags application demo environment dev purpose maybe learning then i will say create cluster so it will charge me this much and i will have to create a user also for this so i am creating a username this neeraj karg 5 and password i will make a note of it create user your cluster has finished provisioning add entries to your ip list which ips i want to access it from it's my ip it's already listed so i will go with this option for now finish and close go to overview you can see that it is being provisioned and it is showing me tags also see flex cluster demo is ready to use monitoring will be available soon so let us see we browse by browsing some collections so now as you see this flux cluster has been created let us load some sample data and connect it from mongodb compass we can connect it from our application also but for now let us load some data here let us say sample mflux load sample data we are loading the sample data let us see meanwhile let us try to connect from our uh, compass connect from compass i want to connect it so this is the connection string copy it let us create a new connection this is it i will copy the password connect and you can see that now it has loaded sample mflix also maybe not complete let us see here if it is completed loading the sample data or not okay clusters if you see it is still loading sample data but we can start browsing the collections browse collections comments embedded movies sessions it has loaded if you see here right so now we can see here also refresh it see the number of collections has increased users theaters sessions right so we can see it is still in the process of load loading the sample data so with this i will stop here so we will continue with our flex cluster and see how we can take a backup of this cluster as a part of continuation of our backup methods right we will continue with this example and see different mongodb atlas configurations how to create a user uh, in database access and other features of mongodb atlas so i hope you have liked this video thank you